Welcome back to school. We are the kindergarten team. My name is Mrs. Caroline Kinney. Hi, I'm Mrs. Lori McMillan. And I'm Mrs. Leah Capey. Every day we begin our day together in prayer at school. So we would like to invite you to join us in praying together as well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, we at St. Ambrose School pray that the virtue of generosity will be with us every day and everywhere. Just as we have learned from your Son, Jesus Christ, and your holy saints, we pray that generosity will guide us to honor all the people who help us and we give thanks for the many blessings we receive. We ask your help to show everyone we meet that the St. Ambrose Way brings us together on the path to heaven. Let us be a community that lives our lives with generosity each day. In the name of the Father, and, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. I say yes to the vocation to be a Catholic school teacher because I love walking hand in hand with my students on their faith journey every day. To see Christ through the lens of a child is a beautiful, precious gift. And I enjoy sharing my faith and nourishing my students' faith. Their eagerness to know and love God is very inspiring. I say yes to the vocation to be a Catholic school teacher because I love sharing God's love and lessons with my students in everyday moments. Being able to grow in my own faith daily at St. Ambrose through our classroom, church, and school activities inspires me to help my students grow in their faith. Our agenda this evening is establishing independence, going over our general schedule, introducing the St. Ambrose way and virtues, introducing daily five framework, communication, how to support your child at school, and homework. Establishing independence. You may notice that we have a new home folder. It's called our fish folder. And we'd like to work with you on helping your child packing that and unpacking that. You'll notice that your child has their big backpack and we're training them right now to make sure that they can open up that huge pocket that's in the middle when they are packing it. So it's nice and wide when it's open and taking their folder. A little something that happened this week is that some of our friends, when they packed their folder, our fish was actually upside down and something terrible happens when that is upside down. Many of our papers tend to fall out. So when they're packing, we practice packing so our fish is facing up and slipping it inside our backpacks. Helping your child learn how to pack their backpack is important her at school, because that's an expectation we have here. So you can practice it at home. Clothing, putting their clothing on and off and zipping and buttoning, turning things inside out, and yes, even tying their shoes. Mm -hmm. Mrs. KB loves it when they know how to tie their shoes. Right now it's a little tricky, but keep practicing it throughout the year. Cleaning up after themselves. Here at school, we expect them to clean up after snack, lunch, after working and playing. That is very important. Each person is responsible for his or her own space. And you can practice that at home as well. Really important this year is following three to five step directions. Yesterday, when I was giving directions, I gave one and they all started to jump out of their chairs. So we wanna make sure that they are listening to all the directions before they get up and move. Oftentimes I say them, I repeat them. I may even ask the students to repeat them back to me and then follow the directions. Here's an example. When they're washing their hands, we ask them to set the timer, wet their hands, get some soap on it, scrub, 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 and then rinse before that light turns red. Really important to keep our students walking through their hand washing and making sure we can get everybody in in a considerable amount of time. Our schedule highlights core subjects, reading, math, religion, and are taught every single day. Science, social studies, alternative are based on alternative basis. 
depending on, on what time of the year and its relevance to our current events. Physical education and music happens two times during the week, art one time during the week, and STEM will occur, science, technology, engineering, and math will occur every two to three weeks for one hour. We will also be visited by Father Ben at least once a month. And it's a big highlight for the kids to have him come in and be a real person to us in the classroom. St. Ambrose Way and our virtue education. At school, you're gonna hear a lot about the St. Ambrose Way and virtues. The St. Ambrose Way is really our school rules. It's be welcoming, be safe, be clean, be thankful, be accountable, and be the best that you can be. Whenever a student in needs correction, you may find that the teacher will use these words when we're describing a skill he or she needs to work on. Our virtue education is introduced through our September booklet called Virtue Development in Kindergarten. Students learn that a virtue is a holy habit that brings you closer to God and his promise of heaven. Each of these elements is explored, revisited, and practiced throughout the year. I get to talk to you today about Daily Five, which is our literacy framework where we help children come from learning the ABCs to being able to read a book. And in Daily Five, we have five components. Read to self, word work, work on writing, listening to reading, and build a word. So I am sure that you parents are going to find out this past week that we learned that there are three ways to read a book. And we are all readers when we enter the doors of kindergarten. We can read the pictures, we can read the words, and we can read tell. That's all part of Read to Self. Kindergartners come in with such a wide range of abilities to be able to read on the first day of kindergarten. And we're so excited to help them continue to grow in that journey. Word work is when we talk about our high frequency or sight words that we learn from our Groves method. And we practice writing those with um, Play-Doh and we do word work with Unifix cubes. We have different ways that we are building those words. Work on writing is exactly what it sounds like we're working on writing. It might be handwriting. It might be sentence structure. It differs for each student. And listen to reading is a way that we help our students build fluency. The best way to help your students at home learn to read is by the laps of parents and listening to you read and modeling that great behavior. And build a word is an opportunity for us to work on that sentence structure or those high frequency words again within the classroom. One of the things that you might hear about daily five is the just right spot. So our just right spots in kindergarten are utilized in daily five, but also in our classroom routine and we're having our seat work. A just right spot might not be for Mrs. Capey to sit with all of her friends here because I'm a chatty little Kathy. My just right spot might be over here in a rocking chair or it might be in a donut space over there. So our just right spot helps our students advocate for themselves to be able to be their best working selves. One of the other things that I wanna address is that we are practicing the Groves method um, within our classroom communities, which is a phonics-based program that we have adopted last year. How to support your child at home is read all the emails and notes from your teacher in school and respond as needed. The fish folders reminders, check each night and have your child share their learning with you. Read to and with your child daily and assume good intentions. And I think I missed the one. Here it is, communication. Sorry about that, parents at home. Home fish folder, that is going to have so many um, paper informations for you as parents at home, what's coming up, if there's field trips happening. Um, our kindergarten newsletter, the big thing that we can tell you is that please read it all the way to the end. At the very end is where we put the office school newsletter that's coming home to you each week. We also add links in there. It might be for pictures of our classroom or what's happening each day or it might be a sign up genius of ways that you can help our classroom do special projects. Individual teacher parent communications will happen either a phone call or a note or an email. And then we have our conferences as well twice a year. And we're not sure if those are in person 
or via Zoom this year. A uh, question we get asked often in kindergarten is, will my child have any homework? And um, you're going to see here that there's a few different ways you can practice homework uh, with your child at home. Something that you hopefully can incorporate daily is just practicing some of our prayers that we use in the classroom, the sign of the cross. Crossing over to that left shoulder is often tricky for us, so giving some extra practice with that is very helpful. Uh, praying the angel of God prayer our Father, Hail Mary, and the Glory Be, so that they can fully participate in all of our prayer opportunities, both in our classroom, school, and church. Um, as Mrs. Kathy already hinted at, we uh, really want to encourage you to continue or to start the habit of reading with your child daily. Um, as she said, children really do learn to become readers by sitting on their parents' laps. So we hope you enjoy that with your child and can continue to support them with that learning. This year, we're gonna learn some sight words or some high frequency words. They come a little bit later in our year, but they really help us to be fluent readers and some quick flashcard practice reading helps us just continue to grow as kindergarten readers. Sometimes we have kindergarten friends who need a little extra practice on a certain academic skill, and we'll partner with you to provide support for you at home to help them grow in that skill as needed. You're going to hear our kindergarten friends talk about a word that we use in our classrooms called stamina. And stamina is really important for us to uh, use in the classroom as we tell about it being able to work and keep working. Um, we start really little for just a minute or two, and then we try to grow and build that stamina each day as we work in the classroom. Um, you might be able to practice this at your house by, let's say, if it's time to get ready for dinner, you're going to ask your child to do an independent read to self task, or maybe you have some um, other kindergarten friendly workbooks at your house. It could even just be a coloring page or a free choice build with Legos or some other toy that they enjoy. But just having that stamina for them to be able to work independently for an increased amount of time. Throughout the year, we might reach out to you and send home different thematic projects um, that complement the seasons or the current events that are happening throughout the year so that we can share and display them in our classrooms and hallways as well. Uh, one of our last slides to share with you, um, my coach, my teachers here and my students often learn that Friday is my favorite day of the week. And so I often come with a big TGIF, um, but here we're gonna share with you a different acronym um, as we partner together this year. Um, we understand and we, uh, are humbled by the trust that you instill in us as you give us your most precious gift, your children. So we really um, want you to know that we value that and it's not something that we take lightly. And we uh, really enjoy working with you to build that trust and to help your children be them best selves. We're both gonna need a lot of grace this year as we grow and learn together. And so we uh, pray that you can give us the grace and we pray that um, we will return that grace and with our children as well. Uh, Mrs. Kinney talked a lot about that big I word independence this year. It is uh, kind of gives me chills standing here to think about where our children are starting now and knowing where they're going to be at the end of the year. It's just an amazing uh, transformation that happens this year, and it's something that we partner with you again to help your children be successful with. Lastly, of course, um, I think the pandemic has all helped us to remember that we need a lot of flexibility. Um, we're going to be flexible here to uh, support your children. And um, of course, our faith is going to be with us every day and every step of this journey to help us do that together successfully. Thank you for joining us this evening. We are very blessed to have your children here with us this year. Um, we're very excited for the beginning of this school year and going on this journey and partnering with you. So we really appreciate you taking the time to view our presentation and we look forward to communicating with you in other ways throughout the year. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.